Well, obviously, I want to watch the, the league games, um, watch the boys that have been in the national team to see if they're playing, for one, and two, if they are playing, then the level that they're playing at. And then if anyone is playing well that we haven't seen or has not been national team before, it's an opportunity for them to impress and try and get a, a place in the squad for the two games coming up. Yeah, I think the Big players end. like that have got to stand out in the game and they've got to do better than the players they've already got. You know, they can't, unfortunately maybe for them, they can't be the same or play at the same level as the players we've got. They need to be better than the players that are playing already and they need to show me that in the game. So, you know, there's a good amount of games before the 26th of March. We'll get them covered by all the staff. So it's down to them now to, you know, perform and play well and do better than the players that have played previously. They need to keep the level of performance up, but obviously they need to be playing as well. So if they're not playing, then it's difficult. It puts me in a difficult position to pick players that aren't playing. You know, obviously I, we have a pool of players that I believe have done very well over the last two years. But if they're not playing regular, then it also causes me a problem. So, um, you know, for the boys that have been in the national team that are playing, they need to be playing week in, week out. And again, playing well to keep their place in the team. Yeah, definite, because Obviously, if they're not playing and they're not getting in the, the starting 11 for the club team, then it causes them a problem of playing regular and getting any confidence and uh, playing time under their belt to go into the game. So it's difficult. Like you say, yesterday, I think there were six or seven national team players that were on the bench or not in the squad. So we knew that would be an issue because you know, the amount of players that have gone there at the start of the season. Uh, obviously, the Oscar has to pick his best team that he feels is going to do that. It's not for me to interfere, but obviously, from a national point of view, you know, we've got players not playing at the minute. Are yeah, you, look, look, it's, I can only give my opinion and what I feel needs to change. Um, if we don't make them changes, then I don't see how we can make progression. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, if, if the changes aren't made, which are looking like that's not going to happen this year, then I have to get on with it and I have to adapt and um, do the best we can with with the situation we're in. But obviously, from a, a performance point of view, I don't think we can get better if players are not planning their correct position. So again, we're going to be in the same situation for the next eight months. You know, that's not going to change. So I have to probably accept that. And, you know, as as a national team or as a, as a nation, we have to accept that, that that's still going to be a problem. Unless we make changes, then we're going to have the same problems that we've faced over, you know, the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've got a really, well, two tough games. Uh, we're at home against Afghanistan. We know they're a good team. I think we was a little bit unlucky over there. I thought we should have had a penalty at the end. Um, but they're a good side. They've got players that play in Europe and England and America. So, you know, if you look at the rankings and you look at their team, they've got better players than us, but we've got home advantage. Hopefully we have a good crowd and we perform on a day. If we perform, you know, everyone reaches their maximum potential, then we have a chance to get something from the game. So that's what we're looking to do. You know, against Qatar, we... <laughs> It's going to be extremely tough. They're 60th in the world. You know they would give England a good game. So we know that you know that's going to be um, a good game to play in for experience and and playing in Qatar. But we know that it's we're playing against a team that's miles difference in class. Yeah, I, when we played in Sydney last year, uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was like you say. I think they really enjoy the football there. Uh, there was a good crowd in the games that we played. I think it was Laos and Philippines. Really enjoyed the atmosphere. We need we need a good atmosphere against Afghanistan. We need to make it difficult for them, you know. And the crowd can play an important part in that. So, really looking forward to it. Um, I say I enjoyed my time there last time. Hopefully, we can play well and enjoy the time there again.